to another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com and what I want to focus on in this video is the order of operations. So I've got a real basic, real easy problem that we're going to do here and um, if you want, you know, you might want to just kind of maybe pause the video and see if you can do this problem. Okay? It's really simple. Let's see if you can get the right answer. Okay, So go ahead and maybe pause the video and see what you can do. All right, so hopefully you have an answer, and we'll talk about that in a second. But here's the deal. The order of operations, okay, is really to, uh, you know, there to help us uh, not get confused. Now, what does it mean? Okay, we have the order, order of operations. So what are we talking about here? Well, in math, an operation is a numeric operation. It's addition, it's subtracting, it's multiplication, it's division its powers, okay, and this is basically all of them, okay, so these are things that we can do with numbers, so if I give you a pair of numbers, let's say like 7 and uh, 4, and I say, okay, do something with those numbers, well, you can select one of these mathematical operations to do something with them, okay, you can add them, subtract, multiply, divide, etc., right, so that's an operation in math. Now, the order of operations is there to, to tell us, hey, listen, when we're faced with something where we have many different operations we have to perform and a lot of numbers, uh, we have to kind of do this in a particular order. If not, we're going to come up with all kinds of different answers here. Okay, So the order of operations is basically a set of directions to tell us exactly what um, order to do these problems in. So let me give you an example real quick. Or actually, let's use this, um, this problem to give us an example how we can get this wrong. So let's say I didn't know the order of operations, and I went, all right, let's see here, 3 plus 2 is 5. All right, so I have 5 times 10 divided by 4. So then I said, yeah, let me go ahead and do this now. So 5 times 10 is 50. So 50 divided by 4, you know, I have my fraction over here, 50 divided by 4, 25 over 2, and I'll just leave my final answer like that. And say, so I'm done, okay? Now, did I make any mistakes here? No, I didn't, right? 3 plus 5. Uh, 3 plus 2 is definitely 5, because that was correct. 5 times 10 is definitely 50, and 50 divided by 4 is definitely 25 halves. However, that's incorrect. Okay, now why is that incorrect? Well, it's incorrect because we did this problem, um, we did the order, um, these numeric operations in a wrong order. Okay, so this is not what we're supposed to do. What we're supposed to do, well, hopefully what you did, was you did this, okay, instead of 3 plus 2 is 5, you said, okay, this is going to be 3 plus 2 times 10, which is 20, divided by 4, and then you said, okay, this is 3 plus 20 divided by 4 is 5, so your final answer is 8. So that would be the correct answer, okay, so that's totally different than 25 over 2. Okay, now why is this, why is the answer 8 and not 25 over 2? Well, because we did it in the correct order. So this is the importance of the order of operations. So you can remember the order of operations by this uh, saying here. I'm sure most of you have seen it. It's called PEMDAS. Okay. So it's parentheses. P stands for parentheses. So any, anytime you see something in parentheses, you do those first. Okay. And uh, parentheses can also be little brackets like this. Those are what we call in math grouping symbols. So anything you see um, that has parentheses, go ahead and do whatever's inside of it first. Okay. E, so that takes care of the P, E is powers. Okay, so if you see a power, like say two cubed, go ahead and do that next. Okay, so that would be eight. And then M and D stand for multiplication and division. So you're going to do multiplication and division, whatever you see uh, first from left to right. Okay, so you could do division before multiplication if it become if it's um, first in a problem from left to right. Okay, and then lastly, you're going to do addition and subtraction. All right, so that is the order of operations, PEMDAS. Matter of fact, I'll leave that up here. And now let's go ahead and actually do this problem again, but this time kind of uh, focus in on this PEMDAS. All right, so are there any parentheses? No. Okay, no parentheses. Are there any exponents or powers? Nope, not in this particular problem. And this is just a basic example. Okay, so I'll be doing other ones, much more sophisticated examples later. But let's just, you know, get the general idea here. Is there any multiplication and division? Yes. 
Okay, so now I want to look at my problem from left to right, okay, in this manner, and I want to um, tackle any multiplication or division, whatever comes up first. So what comes up first is multiplication. So let me, let's go ahead and actually do this part of the problem. So this would be 3 plus, okay, so this, this isn't um, going to change, but this is going to change my multiplication. So 2 times 10 is 20 divided by 4. All right. Now, before I move on from multiplication and division, I ask myself, is there any more multiplication and division? Before I move on to addition and subtraction, yes, okay, right here. Okay, so I have to tackle this part of the problem. So this would be 3 plus 20 divided by 4 is 5. And then obviously there's nothing else to do other than add uh, these two numbers, 3 plus 5, and that is 8. All right, so pretty... Uh, basic example um, of the order of operations. And I, I stress this is because so many students make errors with the order of operations. It's one of these things like fractions where it's like, hey, you learn it and you get comfortable with it, but guess what? <laughs> uh, very, very uh, frequently you get these problems uh, wrong, okay? And this is a basic problem, but believe me, you can get some really um, heavy duty, um, complex number operations or numeric expressions that you're gonna have to simplify in algebra. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Um, come on over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Got a ton of uh, free uh, material for you, uh, videos and other tutorials, all designed uh, to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care and good luck.